So I've been having this issue uh, on this one Yeti mic. I've got two Yeti mics. One of them doesn't do this. The other one does do this. And so I'm trying to figure out how to fix it, but I adjust the gain down or I change the pattern. Nothing seems to be working. And I'm, I'm standing uh, three, four, five feet away talking at a normal tone and still I'm getting peaking and cut off. And, and that just, I just can't have that. That's not gonna work for a good audio. Um, so I've been racking my brain for a little bit on and off. And and um, so here's what I'm dealing with is, uh, so here's basically some me talking and you see it's all just cut off here. Um, it's pretty obvious after adjusting your mic and getting the pattern set and taking your gain middle or down as far as you can, not as far as you can, but you know, finding a, a little happy place there, 25%, 40%, 50% uh, on the gain dial. The next obvious spot would be your recording devices. And so this is the one I'm currently talking on right now. And this is the one that I have to adjust. Levels. This is cranked. I need to get this down. So let's look at what the levels here for this one are. 71. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn that down to what I'm clearly capable of talking to on this identical version of the Yeti Blue mic. And let's turn that down to... You know, let's just take it, let's just take it down a half. And then I can play with the gain uh, a little bit more. So I think that's what we're going to want. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do a test here real quick. So here you're going to see, uh, you're not going to hear anything because I've got this recording on a separate audio track. Anyways, that's besides the point. So what I'm speaking right now is not this waveform, but you can see that this waveform is much less and not peaking such as the waveform before it. And that's before we made that adjustment. Uh, now this waveform is probably too low, so we're gonna wanna push that up a little bit. We're either gonna wanna use the gain on the microphone or the Windows version. And here I'm kind of uh, bumping up the gain a little bit. I'm making some adjustments. So that's how you're gonna fix this Yeti Blue Mic peaking issue in most cases. And I see a lot of this throughout the web. A lot of people asking the question, super simple fix right under your nose. So I hope you guys found this easy to follow and enjoyable. Now, just to let you know, this is one of the best mics to start out with. It's USB connectivity. And I'm checking the price here of 112, 113. I think these things usually range from about 150, 130, uh, but you can get the blackout. Look at this. We got the space gray for 130. We got the we got the white out for 130. We got the we got the platinum for 130. But if you go all black, blackout edition, you can get this for 113. Once you go blackout, you never go back out. Doesn't even look like it's on for a sale. I think they're just selling it for one 112, 113. And with these ratings, I mean this is like a no-brainer, no-brainer purchase if you're looking for kind of an introductory mic. Now, now, do you want this sitting up on your table? Do you want to be tapping on your table and hearing every single noise? You don't want that. You want premium audio. You want to be able to swivel this thing in and out. What you want to do is you want to get a Rode Boom Arm. This. This is the sickness right here. Again, 511 customer reviews, 155 answer questions, four and a half out of five stars. This is what I have. This thing kicks it. Um, I've also got the super cheap version because I, like I said, I got two Yeti mics. I don't have the um, shock absorber. I don't think I need it. Ah, I don't think I need it, um, but uh, don't think you need it. Maybe you need it. I don't know. Who am I to say? What kind of uh, crazy shenanigans as you guys are doing? But this boom arm is solid construction. I mean, it's legit. It's not, doesn't have this these springs and whatnot and making all this noise. But hey, if you want a $15 uh, boom arm that makes makes maybe maybe some noise a little flimsy, maybe doesn't articulate in the way that you want it to, well, then I want to show you um, the mic boom, boom arm right over here. I want to show you for $14, you can get the newer microphone suspension, boom arm, scissor arm. Uh, choo -choo -choo. I don't think that's going to fit. Maybe they have an adapter. Oh, yep. They got an adapter. So this pops off and then you can kind of fit your uh, Yeti mic upon that. So for 130, you're getting yourself set up with the boom arm and the mic. Not a bad deal for some premium audio quality. 
And as always, comment, like, share, subscribe, and links in the description below. Wait. So many links. Look at all those links. Those aren't the links I meant. Uh, those aren't the links I meant. I meant the Amazon links. But I do like these links. Subscribe.